Hello everybody, my name's Jay Beetle, welcome to Stardew Valley. It's a farming sim, so you can click away right now if you don't like Harvest Moon and things like that. I actually love it, so let's get started. Alright, name, farm name, favorite thing. Well, I think it needs a normal name, rather than Jay Beetle, because that'd be kind of a weird name for a human. Farm name, we gotta go with, uh, Beetle Farm. There. There's some relevance there. Favorite thing is probably money. I'm shallow. And, of course, animal preference. Dog is better than cat. No contest. Let's make this look as close to me as I can. Definitely pale. The hair's kind of all over the place. Let's go with this one. And shirts don't really matter to me. I need... I just wish I had a little bit of uh, style, but I don't. Let's go with uh, this... Whoa, there's a lot more than I thought. A heart, wow. Well, you know what? I have a jacket like that. Let's go with that. Doesn't look like much of a... farmer, but that's fine. Um, let's see, glasses. Oh, yeah. We'll go with that. I, I have glasses. They don't look quite like that, but... Let's go. Ooh, that grandpa's badass. He has a cutlass above it, or a scimitar above his fireplace. And for my precious grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Yeah, just throw it at me. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Next, Grandpa. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Is he on his deathbed? That's that that kind of that's that's what it looks like. Now let grandpa rest. 20 years later. Joja, join us. Thrive. Hey, it reminds me of that uh Ted show. Better off Ted. Fake company, well not a fake company in that world, but it was it was a fake company. Terminated. Oh. Hey, there's Woody. And there's a little old me. Life's better with Joja. Okay. I'm so glad computers aren't that big anymore. Dear Josh, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in my life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Beetle Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Yes, I will. Ah, oh, here we go. We're going to Stardew Valley. Now, Stardew Valley was actually made by one person. What I would dream to be able to do. Not necessarily this game, but you know, a game that is full, that doesn't seem like it was a mod. Uh, this will actually have co-op, so expect me and Modi to play it, if indeed it gets here in a timely fashion. Thanks for the ride. Hello, I'm... Oh, oops. 
I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over there, if you'll follow me. Close to a, as a girl that I'm going to get. This is Beetle Farm. Hooray! Wait, nope. Nope, not hooray. Very intimidating. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Thanks, I guess. Nice little cozy house here. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer! Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Josh. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. This isn't a crusty house. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thank you, Lewis. Yay! Move with uh, WASD, shift to run, and to check things, right click. Let's check this box. Parsnip seeds, new journal entry, let's see. New, Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Okay. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay, I can do that. And then greet a bunch of people. Let's do it. Oh, is this endurance? It is endurance. Does it go back up? Oh, it doesn't go back up. I guess you have to sleep to get that endurance back up. All right, so for now, I can I can picture this taking a long time to get cleared off this whole farm because this is a big farm. You want to compare it to Harvest Moon? This thing is huge. So what am I doing? I already, <laughs> you know me, Any, anybody who's watched me play for a while knows I say one thing and then I get distracted. So let's not get distracted for once. Hey frog. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna cut up a little bit, just a little row, cause we have, we have time. We have all the time in the world. Uh, we, we need to meet a few people before the end of the day. There we go. That should be enough. And then till the soil. So the thing I like th about this that other Harvest Moon games don't have is that you can just click areas because it's, you know, mouse operated and you don't have to be right next to it. So it's, it is grid based, but you're, if you notice your character just moves a little bit. So he's not grid based. So let's, uh, let's plan everything. How about that? Oh, I love it. If you want a calming game, this is it. Now, this... Now, you, did you really just make me do one, one off here? Okay, and of course, watering. So let's walk on all of our crops. Let's stomp on them for a minute. There we go. All right, I assume those will grow. Um, let's see if I have to do anything else for this. Getting started. Cultivate and harvest. Oh, I got to harvest it. So, 
you know, we just have to wait. And then, of course, this will be where we put stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's let's put stuff in there because you never know; it might sell for a little bit. Okay, can I get the stuff back if I screw up? Nope. Only the last thing. That's fine. Let's go. That used half of my endurance too. Let's go to town because this game's all about making friends and becoming a rich mogul. Bus stop, Pelican Town. Well, we don't need to go to the bus stop. Am I losing endurance for running? It doesn't look like it. That's nice of them. Alright. We are officially in Pelican Town. Where to go? Where to go? Let's see if we have a map. Uh huh, we do have a map. Community center. Well, it's a community center, so I have to assume that there's people around the community center? Where? Oh, there's got to be a house up, or not a house, a building up here. Right? Am I just dumb? I think I'm just dumb. Okay, here's a house. Or the community center, sorry. Eh, of course it's locked. <clears throat> gotta find somebody. Twist, it's a horror game. No one actually exists. And he was tricked by his evil grandfather to come and visit this ghost town that has literal ghosts. I don't think that's the right way. I also wonder how open this is to mods. Oh, come on. So the map sort of helps. I guess the map helps as much as a normal map would help. It, with the added benefit of having uh, your place always marked on it. You are always here. Hey, there's a question mark. Neat. Egg festival. Oops. How did I get there? So it looks like every year has, I guess, four months because each each uh, spring is a quarter of the month. Or, yeah, no, a quarter of the year. And then we have everybody that I don't know. So let's meet some of those people. Knock, knock. Hey, mister. Oh, you're not even going to talk to me. Does that count as Does that count as talking to somebody? No, it doesn't. Um Ah, uh, maybe if I go around it'll count. This is going to be weird if that's the case. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I'm not going to remember all these slight differences in talking. Wait, nope. Introduction. Oh, it counted. Cool. Let's get talking to 28 people. I wonder if there's more than 28. I wonder if it's just something that you have to... Aw. No, well, no one's sick. That's that's the sign of a healthy neighborhood. Pierre's. Ah, Pierre. Because I know who that is. Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the old farm. They don't have much to say. Not right now. Oh well, no, I don't want to buy from you. Although I probably should. Bean starter plant. Plant these in the spring. Takes 10 days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Sure. It's like, oh my god. Can I produce an ant repellent? Cauliflower seeds. Takes well to produce a large cauliflower. You know what? Let's get the beans. Because we have 500 gold. Let's get a couple of them. Can I just right click and it? What the heck? Do I have to do this individually? Well, there goes all of my, all of my money. That's fine. And then one more parsnip. So we have zero money now. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. I'm not gonna remember your name. Now open. Let's see if we can talk to more people. It seems like. All these are the individual's rooms, and unless I'm really good friends with them, I can't go in their room. Hopefully, their room... Ooh, another person. Hopefully, their room has treasure. Hello, you must be Josh, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. You're so friendly. We gotta have some rogue guy or girl that's, like, just a bitch. Um, let's keep on looking. Get out of my way. 
This single thing is for sale? Oh, backpack upgrade. Not 2,000 gold, so I couldn't have bought it anyway. I would hate for them to be like, hey, you gotta, you gotta buy your first required thing for 500 gold, and I could have done it to begin with. I can't open someone else's mail? Oh, uh, wheelchair man. George. Hmph, <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. <laughs> Why, hello, and welcome to our community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. I know that when I was growing up, my grandma, which I called Daka just because it was like baby speech for, you know, it's like the first thing I told her. I called her Granny just as a joke, and she did not like it. Oh, hey, you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Yes, cool indeed. And we can't go back there. That's fine. Let's see how we're doing. 9 out of 28. Wow, there are tons of people. 28 didn't seem like that much of a number, but... Or that big of a number, but it is, it is. Hey. Penny, hi. You're a bit apprehensive. You live in a trailer, that's alright. No judging. There's a house here. There's got to be someone in this house. I have to wonder, though, if I if I don't go, like, methodically through every house, how I'm going to find everybody. Plus, it's 2 p.m. Nope, no one's over there. Games like these are funny. You can't break into people's rooms, but you can break them into their house. And not only that, you as a, as a player can see into the other person's house that you cannot... Or other person's room that you cannot enter. So, you could already know whether something's valuable or not. Hey, a sewer... I'm not even going to bother with the sewer because I'm pretty sure you can enter it. Let's look at the graves. Graves are always good Easter egg fun. It's old and faded. Well, that's not... F Our beloved Mona. Uh... What? Lot? I thought maybe they were just anagrams. This a Tuesday? Toe day? Nope. Maybe we'll never know. And this one doesn't even have any writing on it. Alright, let's look over here with this sad sun. Hello? Oh, there you are. Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I like her. She's my favorite right now. She was welcoming. Well, all of them were welcoming, but she's like, hey, drop on by. They were just like, hi, this is Pelican Town. All right, what do we have in here? Hello? Very interesting house you have. Sorry I'm breaking in. Ooh, that's cool. You have a music room. You have a keyboard. I want to know you. Wait, does it tell it whose bedroom it is? Vincent, okay. Yeah, I gotta go by the saloon because I'm pretty sure I can still go by the saloon when nothing is happening at night. Oh, it tells me where every, everyone is. And, and they're not all in the screen, so let's go over here. It's also another thing I like about this that Harvest Moon didn't have fast loading times. Yeah, the loading times really bothered me. That's the one thing. Loading times and having to be right next to what you were watering or whatever. Only Leah's friends can hear. Well, where the hell's Leah? Can I go this way? Nope. Man, I've been waiting for this game to come out a long time. Like, Starbound. Hi. Oh, you're the new farmer boy, aren't you? That's all you have to say to me? Aren't we all farmers? No, some of us are bar owners and mailmen and women. Mail carriers, sorry. Um, there's no way I'm going to find everything. Ooh, there was something in that tree. I sort of found half of them. Well, I just watered the tree. Well, that was useful. I hope this isn't a bad idea, because it could be bees. Ooh, what did I get? Sap. For a second, I thought it said soap. 
Let's chop. I mean, why not? We do have to meet everybody, but who says we have to do it today? I haven't met 12 people in a day, ever. I meet like 12 people a year. That I see more than one time. The tree, tree cutting reminds me a lot of uh, how they did it in Starbound. Which, they published it, but they did not make it. As far as I know, they didn't help at all. They might have, but I don't think they did. Yay! Cool. Can I chop this down? Oh, I can. So we have a ton of wood, at least. What that'll get us, not really sure. Yeah, there is also combat in this game, so it could be pretty interesting. Ooh, a plastic bag. Aww. And can't go in there. That is nasty, by the way. Stardew Valley, you should be ashamed of yourself. Is there going to be a conspiracy? Someone around... Ooh, random turnips? Cool. Onions, same thing. Leeks. Can I just plant them right there, randomly? It wouldn't be my farm, though. Anyone could come and steal my leeks. Ooh, it has stats. I didn't know that. 13 energy wild during the spring, so I can't actually grow them. But 13 health, 13 energy. Wow, let's eat one. Can I eat? Can I? Yes. <laughs> Throw it up in the air. Take it. Let's eat those raw onions. Okay, there we go. Got a little bit more energy. Ooh, it's 8 p.m. I probably need to get back home. But I want to see what this is. It's a... It's a... It's a... Can I go in this way? Looks like it's abandoned. Aw, oh, man. Can't get it. Chop. Come on, let me, let me through. Well, okay, it wasn't letting me through. I just needed to... I wanted it. Is what I'm saying. So spring onions, I can probably sell too. At this point, I want to just get a bunch of money. That's how you get ahead in life. A head of lettuce, actually. So I hope I'm going the right direction. I could look at the map, but I'm a guy. I don't want to. I'll just end up lost in the forest. Oh, actually, I'm going the right way. Yeah, take that. Oh, the other end. The end I have to dig through to get... <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Let's let's get through here. Uh, five, tap, tap. Get out of here. Whoa, it all just went through. Get out of here. Get out of here, weeds. I assume you're weeds. Or innocent flowers. Get out of here. What have we done to you? Well, you're on my grandpa's farm. That's now my farm. Beetle farm's about to turn around. No freeloaders anymore. Where am I even going? I'm off task here. What was that? Get over here. I never knew it would be this difficult. Okay, there we go. I'm working at 11 p.m. at night. I think it's safe to say I'm a good worker. I'm hardy. Cool. We made it back. Um, you know, it's kind of late, but let's get this going. Uh-oh. I'm freaking out. Does it cost to do this? Don't think so. Uh, where? Oh, there, there they are. Aw, can I, why can't I do that? Oh, there we go. Oh, you can't run through those. Interesting. Well, let's eat. Eat. Well, I just want to eat it. And I already did it before. I'm, I'm wondering what I'm doing wrong. There we go. I just use both the buttons, really. Right-clicking. Right-clicking. 
No, what am I doing? There we go. Plop, plop. Plop, plop, plop. And then I have to water them. Oh no, I'm going to fall asleep. It's 12 a.m. I cannot see anything. I guess that's the point. Six. Oh, there's my parsnips. So, before we end the day, sorry guys, let's just get over here. Sap. I know this can probably be used to make things, but I want to get something going. No, I don't want to water the door. All right, it's a uh, I'm it's a it's a wrap. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll go continue this in the next day. Maybe meet the rest of the people. Uh, let me know what you think of this thing. It's on Steam today and about fifteen dollars. I don't know at this point. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>